What makes Hyperledger so unique compared to other permission ledgers? So Hyperledger is a really unique community uh, uh, in the open source landscape of different uh, blockchain technologies. Uh, we kind of model ourselves a little bit after Apache uh, and some of the other organizations out there that really are communities of communities, right? Um, within Hyperledger, we have different technology code projects, essentially. Projects like Fabric and Sawtooth and a lot of the others that, that all of you will be finding out about. Um, <clears throat> but what these projects have in common is a set of development principles uh, around working in the public, uh, around, you know, e even from the earliest ideas, you know, developers should be sharing that with other developers, right? Not just something they build privately, then throw over the wall and release as open code, but that starts out from day one as a, a public process, right? Um, and multi-stakeholder as well. So uh, while projects do often start out as the work of one company or one small set of developers, uh, we really come to trust technologies when we see that there's lots of people both using it and contributing to it. And so that way we know we, this is actually a project that will likely outlast any one company's commitment to it, right? That's a good basis for deciding what open source technologies to build on. So at Hyperledger, we're trying to make sure that each of these projects uh, fulfills that goal of being multi-stakeholder, of being active software development projects that get as quickly as possible to a production release, something that organizations can actually use in real production environments, um, and yet still has the flexibility to explore a new concept, to explore a new consensus mechanism, a new way of writing smart contracts, right? So that balancing act is really what we're trying to strive uh, for inside of Hyperledger.